Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Shotwani once again from learn-obish.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about how to handle auto suggestion in WebDriver IO. Okay, so you must have seen auto suggestion now is like you know very common in every web application. So even the basic application nowadays have auto suggestion. So let me show you what exactly we are trying to achieve through uh, WebDriver IO. So the moment you let's say Google itself, you type something, let's say Selenium or let's say WebDriver IO. Okay, you can see this list of auto suggestions, right? So suppose I want to capture all of them or let's say I want to click on any of this. So how we can do that with WebDriver IO, that's what we are going to see. Okay, so I will be taking one example, but yeah, the concept will remain same whether you try with Google or any other application. So suppose uh, this is one of the application make my trip. So the moment I have to enter, let's say from Bangalore, all these options are coming, right? In a similar way, if I want to travel from Bangalore to let's say Delhi, again, these are auto suggestion. The moment I change certain keywords, the list of values will change. So how to handle them, we will see. And same goes with other application. Okay, can you see this? So it's going to be very easy. It is just you need to follow the same uh, process that we have seen earlier. We are going to use something called double dollar, which is basically will help you to find multiple elements. And then you can run a loop and you can get the you know, desired output or you can perform any operation. So we have seen this, uh, which is double dollar in one of the previous videos where we are going to use find elements and then we will apply our logic. Same logic I'm going to apply. So let's see. So again, I will create a new JavaScript file and I will give this as auto suggestions. Okay, let me just add .js file, .js. So let me start with describes. So basically we are going to use describe which is coming from Mocha framework. So here we have to provide the test suite name. Let me give this as uh, auto suggestions. Now inside this we need a uh, it block. Okay, so I will use it and let me call this as uh, click on Google auto suggestion. This is the test name I'm giving. You can give any other name of your choice. Auto suggestions. Okay, now let's continue. So first step we need the browser. So I will use await again because we are going in async mode. And I will say browser dot URL. So the first step is we need to pass the URL. In our case, it's google.com. In your case, it is going to be any application where you're working or which you want to automate. Second, we need to type some keyword. Okay, so let's say in my case, if I just right click inspect. And uh, the moment I inspect this, you can see we have one of the attribute called name. So I can use this name or I can use any other like I can use title as well or I can use uh, area label. But let me go with name. So I'm going to write XPath here. You can continue with CSS selector as well. I will write find a input tag and where name equal to Q. Fine. So I will just go here and type. First, this is going to be our web element. So I will say search box. Here I will be using await. I will use dollar symbol. Then I will use this X path that we have written. So this is going to return us this search box. Now I need to do type. So I will use something called set value. And let's see what value we can add here. See, the moment you type, let's say if I go with my name, if I type Mokesh Shotwani, you can see list of auto suggestion. So let's say I want to capture all these values and let's say I want to click on this or this or any other value. The moment I click on API testing and then all these options should come. So let's see how we can do that. So we are going to type any keyword of your choice. This is again await. Now, the moment you type something, it takes few seconds to load all these values, right? So I'm just going to give a browser dot pause. I will give pause for two seconds. Okay. So that these auto suggestions should load. 
I will give 2000 milliseconds. So basically it's two seconds. Now the ray, the main task is we need to write a common XPath or CSS selector in a such a way that it should match with all these options. Okay. All these options. So if I right click and inspect, so you can see we have here, uh, let me just check. Yeah. So can you see this UL? So UL, if you just notice, it has something called role equal to list box. Inside this UL, we have something called all the allies, right? And inside this allies, if you see, we have something called div tag. And again, if I open this div, you can see we have this is div tag, which has the actual options. Can you see this? So I'm going to write a, a small XPath of CSS that which is going to start from UL, then it will go to uh, LI, and then we will come up with this final div, which is role equal to options. And if you expand, we have further values, which is going to return me these values. So I will go till here because this is going to match all these. So let's start from here. I will write find a ul tag which has role equal to list box. So find a ul which has role equal to list box. Now we are going to match all these allies. Okay. Can you see this on the screen? So I will say find all the allies. Now we just saw that we want div till here, right? Role equal to option so that it should match. So I will write double slash div at the rate role. And you can see we got all these values, right? But still let me give role equal to option. So basically you need to find a pattern, this pattern in a such a way that it should match with all the web elements, which is coming as auto suggestion. Okay. In our case, this is the X path, which will be matching with all the records. So I will be using again double dollar this time because the moment you start working with more than one web element, you have to use double dollar. Now this will return me one array. So let me use a wait here and this is going to return me one array and I will say all values. So basically now I need to run a small for loop. This for loop will capture all these values and then we'll write a small if condition that if while uh, running a for loop, if value equal to this, then click on this. So I'm going to use for loop and let me start with uh, from zero. And this for loop should go till the number of values we have inside this array. So I will say all values dot length. Okay. We have seen this array part in our JavaScript series and every time I will increment by one. Okay, so this for loop will start from zero to 10 because we have 10 auto suggestions here. Okay, now every time from this array, I'm going to capture one value and let me just capture the text for the time being. So I will use console.log and I will say values from Google is okay. Now let me use await here. So basically this is my array, right? Every time I have to iterate. So I will use all values. I'm going to give I because it will start from zero and it will go till the end of this array. So I'm going to give I. So it will start from I zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. And from each element, I'm just looking for a text. So I will say get text. Let's run as of now only this. If you are able to get this value, then we will print. So now let me run this. I will use npx webdriver io run. We are going to run this webdriver io.config file. So webdriver io.config.js. I'm going to run only this spec file that we created today, which is auto suggestion.js. Let me copy. Let me paste here and let's hit enter. So just few steps, it will open Google. We're not maximizing. Then we are going to search this search box, typing Mukesh 20, giving a pause of two seconds. 
then we are finding all these uh, elements which will be 10 then we are going to run a loop and while running this loop it will fetch one value of 1 by 1 and we are calling get text so it should print the values ok so it says running in chrome let's wait and here we go ok so we did a small mistake so it says await is only valid in async function ok so you can see this is not uh, async function so let me use async here ok now let me run this again so every time when you get some uh, you know error try to read the error what it says and then try to fix it so since we're using await and await only works with async mode so we have to use this async as you can see 0 0 running in chrome and yes here we go it should open google type mukesh atwani wait for two second and yes can you see all these values it captured all these values which is coming from google this is the one that we have typed right so straight from this and it is printing till here what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this value or i'm going to click on this value it's up to you it doesn't matter in which position it is coming since we are going to run a loop and write a condition so it should be uh, fine whether it's coming at first place or last place doesn't matter perfect so once you've done this then just it's a matter of one small if condition that we are going to write here and uh, let's use this in a variable so i will say this is const value okay now let me write a small if condition so if the value that we have captured and value we stored inside this value variable and now i'm going to use something called includes okay so basically i'm just searching a partial string right so if you want you can use the full string as well but in this example i'm just going to search for a partial string so i can give that the moment i will find api testing i want to click okay so if the value that we captured which is this if this includes api testing then i want to click now where we want to click we want to click on the web element so this is my current one uh, current web element right so i will use this and i will say dot click that's all and the moment i click obviously it will move to the next page but i want you that it is going to the next page so I will give a pause again for two seconds for you it's not required you can continue with your remaining activity since this is just tutorial so I need to show you that it is selecting that value and it is moving so I will give this two thousand millisecond which is basically two seconds and now I will break because if I don't break it will still continue with the remaining set of values which sometime can create an issue okay you will get a stale element reference exception so the moment we got our keyword, we are going to click on it, we're going to do a pause, break, and once the test will complete, it will close this browser. Yeah, so let's run it once again, and uh, let's see the output. So you'll notice after entering or after printing API testing, uh, it is not going to print the remaining set of values. So it is about to start, yes, it started. okay now yes it clicked on api testing and you can see it move to the next page and after that it is going to close and if you just observe this part that just after api testing it is not printing the remaining set of values because we used something called break the moment you use break it it comes out of this for loop and after for loop we don't have anything so it is uh, closing our browser so that's very easy guys same approach you have to use whether it's any kind of application just use uh, some unique locator which will match with multiple options which is coming as auto iteration run a for loop write f condition if that keyword exists click on it and break so please give a try uh, with different application or i would suggest first give a try with google itself if you're comfortable with this example 
then you can try with the remaining applications or your own applications that you're automating so that's all for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed and i hope you have learned something new out of this video if yes then please support this channel subscribe this channel share with your friends colleague and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye